Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be doing a cloud tutorial for you using gouache paint. So I'm going to be using the Strathmore Mixed Media 300 series paper, which I've cut to 5 by 7 inches. And I'll also be using the Windsor & Newton Designer Squash in Primary Blue, Ivory Black, and Zinc White. And for brushes, I'll be using one of the Princeton Aqua Elite Series brushes and two brushes from the Princeton Real Value set. And all of these materials will be in the description. And to mask the white edges, I'll just be using some washi tape. Um, I find this works better than regular masking tape. I just get cleaner edges for some reason with this. up a light sky blue color by mixing a little bit of blue with some white and I'm going to put a wash of this on the whole canvas um, and also sorry for the slow camera shift that's going to be happening in the next minute or so my camera mount wasn't tightened all the way so apologies for that if you notice it I'm just going in again with the same light blue and putting a second layer on the canvas and after covering the top third of the page I'm going to um, add a little more white to my mixed paint and cover the middle portion and for the last third of the page I'm going to mix even more white and fill, the, uh, fill in the rest creating a slight gradient. So now I'm just taking my round brush and I'm mixing a very light blue and gently pressing that on the page in a light tapping circular motion to lay out where I want all my clouds to be. And clouds are organic so these shapes can really take any form you want them to, but I like to make the tops a bit round and blend out the bottom, as you'll see. I'm going to add some more white to the bottom to enhance that gradient a bit more and create some feathery strokes.
putting some more white on my brush, I'm going over the initial shapes I made and I'm starting to cover up the highlights. Remember that most gouache paints will dry duller than the color you initially put down. Um, I'm sure you can tell here that the white I first put down isn't as visible as it was before, which is why I work in many layers. I'm also focusing the highlights on the upper left of most of my clouds to define where the light is coming from. If you're unsure how to do this, I definitely recommend working from a reference photo. Um, I think that helps a lot. taking a tiny, tiny bit of black and mixing it with my blue and white mixture to create a shadow color and stamping this with my brush opposite and around where the highlights are and then blending between the two. Um, don't worry if your highlights look a little washed out, we're going to go back in later with another layer. mixed a little bit more black to darken a few areas in the shadows just to create another layer of depth um, and I also added a few spots towards the bottom of the page where I'll add white on top later. Now going in with white, I'm going to go over the highlights again and also add um, a few random small spots to make the clouds look more fluffier and not so tightly packed.
bit more of that feathering and then going in again with my white this time making sure my brush is fairly dry so that the pigment is really bright I'm only highlighting the edges and a few random spots along the shadows like I said before clouds are organic shapes so don't feel pressured to make yours perfectly rounded or a specific shape that's really what makes them look more natural taking my other small round brush in a little white just to emphasize those feathery strokes a bit more and I'm adding a few strokes coming off of the clouds um, just to give the clouds a bit more movement. Just like that we are done i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did definitely give it a thumbs up also please let me know in the comments if you like this voiceover tutorial or if you prefer what i did in my last video um which i'll link in the corner of this one in case you didn't see that but thank you guys so much for watching if you followed along i'd love to see it um, send it to me or post and tag me on instagram i'll have my uh, handle in the video and in the description and I'll see you in the next one